All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and shoutcast the finals for BSS Palm Springs. This happened about a month ago, but I it was about 22 days ago, but I had to check in. I had to showcase the matches and talk about any mistakes that could have happened or amazing plays that we wanted to see more of. So let's go ahead and see. Looks like Adam Asu starts off. The game, we can't see a mechanical wing. I wonder what he wants to start up. I think a great start would be going first is playing something for three. So he did play something for three. He plays his mecha that helps him uh, slow down opponent's destruction abilities. Now, they are not going to be able to stop him from being destroyed by comparing BP. But they are going to, you know, help when it comes to burning forces. Anything like that, his mechas are going to be very, very safe. Looks like Tim goes and opts in for the, another three cosplay himself. Bearded Eagle could go for free, but he actually played it for two, for three. And just opted away from attacking. It looks like maybe he didn't just want to give any extra cores. Also, the Bearded Eagle is already at 5k. Potentially, he just wanted to uh, add a little bit more pressure into... Uh, his blocking stage wow we already see the white deck showcasing its amazing power it was able to play three cards two of them were for free and the last one was valkyrie mist with three cost reduction i mean this is a great turn to play this is literally a perfect turn to maybe the best thing that could have happened here is he would have started with a pegakion and then had uh, this this uh, barrage of free uh, units but still absolutely impressive looks like tim rivera cannot answer with his own burning force he doesn't have enough cores so it looks like he's gonna have to take at least three hits before he can burning force uh, this out but he could potentially kill the valkyrie and i believe the machine beast the duck those two are mechas so if, as long as uh, Adam Asu attacks with those two units first, he's pretty safe. Looks like Adam Asu is still messing around with his cores. He's not sure exactly what he wants, where he wants these cores to be. He, he's calculating where he wants to put the soul core, but it really doesn't matter. I don't think so. I guess he's thinking about whichever is going to die first. But looks like he's smart in this. He recognizes that Mechas will stay alive against the burst. Maybe he doesn't because I'm sure that's a machine beast. And now that Machine Beast could be f Burning Force. Looks like Tim Rivera is actually thinking about it. Do I want a Burning Force? These two, Valkyrie and the Machine Beast. Looks like I actually called it. So if Adam Asu, that the last attack... So this was our first mistakes that we found. If Adam Asu attacked with his Machine Beast... Before he put the opponent at five core, that last attack would have landed, and he would have the opponent would be at one life right now, making AIS absolutely useless. Because let's say he did go ahead and burning force these two. I think he could have still burning forced this mecha. What happens is it dies, but it just sits back exhausted. I think it ends the combat zone. Actually, this is a very interesting uh, scenario here. If you burning force this mecha, do you while it's attacking, do you end the attack step and it just sits on the field? I'm very interested. I think you actually do that. You actually end the attack step and you keep the mecha on the beast. So no matter what, he was going to be able to stop the attack. But he would have, uh, I think he would have at least kept one of those two units alive because he would have had to target this mecha. But... Uh, I'm very interested actually in that ruling. Can you, if you burning force this mecha, does it actually just end that attack step? I think it does actually. So let's move on guys. Let's see what, maybe, maybe it wasn't that big of a deal if you actually can end the attack step. But if you can, that means this mecha was going to land and it would have uh, survived the removal. That means we would have had one extra character spirit right now and the opponent would have had one less unit looks like the opponent is coming in strong with the tyranoid for three that's already officially uh three level three and i think we're gonna keep it oh no we're not gonna keep it level three we're actually gonna move it down to level two level one and we're gonna rush a little bit this is very interesting i wonder why he's doing that because wow tim just takes it back i wonder why he's doing that i don't think he can end games here so maybe you don't want to go too too far 
Well, he, he is going for it. Looks like he just had mis miscounted his cores. But he's going to go for three characters. This is such a weird play. Looks like he's just developing his field. He wants to kind of put pressure on the opponent next turn. Now, the, pre the opponent can read this correctly. He can really do a lot of damage here. If he has another Valkyrie, that could be another potential. If he has a Burning Force, this is an amazing opportunity for Burning Force to, to Burning Force right now in endgame. But I don't think the White is running any Burning Force. Looks like it's a more of an aggro deck. Let's see how White wants to respond here. He has a lot of options, but I don't think we're running any of the good options. We're not running any Burning Forces. Looks like we're not even going to add any spirits into the field. We're just going to go ahead and dump a bunch of Dawn underneath our units. I think this is happening because the red is not attacking at all, hurting the white. But I see a lot of units, a lot of cards in white's hands. I do see a suppression. Maybe that's what we're, we're aiming for. We're trying to suppress the opponent. Let's see how this pans out. I wish we can play a couple of extra spirits this turn. This would be an amazing opportunity to gain a small advantage. Um... Let's 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 see what happens here. He's gonna go ahead and attack Adamasu decides to attack the core. What is Tim gonna do? Does he block with his 5k? No, it's uh, yeah, it's actually 5k, so both of them will die. So we do choose to do that. Now, what are you gonna do, Adamasu? Are you going to opt into attacking again? Wow, looks like he is. That one should be safer, I believe. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So that's what he was doing. I was wondering why didn't he use the suppression the last turn. Looks like he wants to get rid of the Tyranoid. The Tyranoid right now is at level 3, which makes sense why he blocked with the Bearded Eagle. He wants to make that Tyranoid bigger. And unfortunately, the Adamasu was absolutely ready for Tim's play and anticipated that the Tyranoid is going to get bigger. So he was ready with his suppression. Makes sense why he didn't use it the turn, uh, the spirit before to save that spirit. Actually, let's see if this is going to hurt Tim in any way. Looks like Tim is only at one card now in hand. This is a great opportunity for Adamasu to kind of allow this turn to play out and then just try to... Oh, no. Now, my only question is, how did he kill the mecha? This mecha shouldn't have died, right? I don't believe that mecha should have died. I'm going to do my own research, guys. I don't believe that mecha should have died at all. But anyways, guys, let's keep going. Looks like a cornered, corn, cornered flame rat is attacking. If he attacks and lands, he's going to get a draw. Does uh, I don't think Adamasu wants that to happen, but he's going to have to let it go through. I don't see any way for him to stop it. I just wonder if that mecha was supposed to die. I'm reading here, it says he has to be level 2. The mecha was at level 2. When your mecha spirits would be destroyed by your opponent's destruction effects, they remain on the field exhausted, as it said. So that means this mecha would have would have never died. This was a misplay by Adamasu, accepting it from Tim. Interesting. I knew we were going to find some misplays. All right, we're looking at... What is that? A four-cost drop into a free drop? Looks like Adam, Adamasu is trying to... Just end game here. Is he going to be able to do that? I don't think so. That's for sure. Unless he can return something to hand... With a Valkyrie, even if Valkyrie lands right now, it's almost not, it's not going to work. So I don't even know why we're attacking this turn. Maybe just keep these spirits on the field and just keep them standing. Looks like we are going to start attacking. Uh, so that spirit is going to go through. Just because it was a 2k attack. This is another 2k attack, so both that one is going to die. This is going to be a 3k attack, I believe. That one's going to die. Very interesting. I wish we blocked that mecha wing. At least we would have landed these two attacks. Tim, Tim, I don't know how Tim is still alive. He only has two cards in hand. Another corner beast, uh, flame rats coming down. Charge draw for two. He need, he need. Okay, he did pay for it. Wow! Place two rain needles for free. <gasps> is that game? 
No way! He got two way needles for, for, for which are no way! I, this is unbelievable, guys. No! 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 That's absolutely unbelievable! What amazing draws! This guy has to be a magician, or or he has to have summoned the spirit. Something how that's absolutely insane. What an ending to the finals. No wonder people love these aggressive decks. Oh my god, they just do the job so well. Now I want to go back here. Make sure that this unit didn't have level 2 on it. I think it, it did. I think, oh, it looks like it didn't have level 2. It didn't have level 2. So he didn't misplay. No, he did. It was level 2. <gasps> it was level 2. Potentially he could have won. Adam Asu could have won if he didn't. Guys, do you understand what just happened? Tim could not have blown up this mecha, but Tim accepted it for some reason, even though he was level 2. That means this mecha would have never died, and still Tim accepted that it died. That means if he had that mecha one turn earlier, we would have never seen Tim charge draw because Adam Asu would have already ended the game with that final attack as uh, Tim was on one life. Absolutely crazy, guys. Uh, keep your eyes open. Volcanic Break. I don't think that, that it can kill. I don't think Volcanic Break can kill the mecha. Let me read the Volcanic Break really quickly, guys. I'm looking into it right now. It's right here. It says here, Volcanic Break. It says here. That Volcanic Break... Select one of your opponent's spirits with 3k or lower and destroy it. If you spend the soul core as part of this cost, select a spirit with 6k or lower. That means that means me the mecha would have never been destroyed. And we're going to see this happening right now. This mecha would have never been destroyed. Adam Asu should not have accepted the deletion of this mecha. It was a level 2. We see two cores on it. And fortunately... Just that little tiny misplay cost the game for Adam Asu. Cost him about $7,000. I'm not going to lie, boys. That's a big misplay. I think it cost him like $3,000, I think, or more. Big, big misplay. Make sure you guys don't make these kinds of mistakes in your games. Wow. I think Adam Asu could have had it right there. Unfortunate. But guys, I'm very interested in your opinions, guys. Don't you love the content I make? Don't you love learning from me and gaining this value? No one else is sending you this kind of content. No one else is as real as me. No one else is as amazing and as... Maybe there are a couple of guys that do a little bit as much content as me. But I do a lot of content. I do it daily. Make sure you guys subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys in the next game.